Hey, Facebook friends, thanks for checking in. It's Thursday afternoon, and our topic for this week has been worship. Uh, we've been talking about several of things that uh, define our uh, approach to worship and reasons that worship is uh, essential uh, for us uh, really as humans uh, and especially as followers of Jesus Christ. Uh, yesterday we talked about hearing things and I want to kind of do a part two on hearing things. He hearing things is an important part uh, of, uh, of worship. Uh, you know, I lived in Columbus, Georgia for uh, nine years this last stretch and three years at a time before that. Uh, one of the... Uh, uh, one of the hallmarks, one of the regular points in the week in the life of anybody living right now in Columbus, Georgia, Saturday at 12 noon, you hear the tornado sirens. Uh, there's an impressive uh, array of sirens across uh, ac up and down the Chattahoochee Valley uh, because of the number of tornadoes that come through there. It's an important thing to have, but that could uh, that could mark your weekend. It could it could set your uh, Saturday. Your new Saturday was halfway done at noon on every Saturday when that uh, tornado siren went off. Now, uh, you know, you became accustomed to hearing it every Saturday, uh, so you were uh, alert, your ears were ready to hear it if it went off any other time. Uh, and there were plenty of other times when uh, we got to hear that thing go off. Uh, one, I'll remember we were in a restaurant, a storefront restaurant, and uh, all glass windows up in the front, and that siren went off, and the owner of the restaurant came out and tried to decide whether closing the curtains uh, would be enough to protect us if something happened. But anyway, that's another story for a different time. It's a serious point that when you hear that storm, when you hear that, uh, that siren come, uh, it, it gets your attention. That's an important uh, thing that happens in worship. It, it can happen in other settings, but especially in worship. Uh, hearing things Hearing things are an important part of worship. We want to hear uh, God's Word. Sometimes God's Word is going to go off for us. Uh, sometimes we, we think we're, we, we already know what He has to say, but sometimes God's Word needs to go off for us to kind of get our attention like that siren. Uh, he speaks something that, uh, that interrupts us. It gets our attention. It, it maybe disrupts us even a little bit uh, on the way to getting our lives calibrated back to be uh, in line uh, with what He uh, dreams for us and hopes for us part of worship part of worship is is keeping our ears ready keeping our hearts ready to hear to hear when uh, when that siren goes off when that word from God goes off sometimes it's encouragement sometimes it's challenge uh, sometimes it's something that'll stretch us in some way but I want you to know that worship part of the heart of worship whether you're worshiping uh, you know online whether you're worshiping uh, somewhere in person at this point with, with precautions and safety, however you worship, be ready to hear from God. Be ready to let that word disrupt or interrupt so that he can speak to you with clarity. Uh, I love the experience of the, the, the Samuel was just a young prophet when he said he was just learning to hear God's voice and, and someone else taught him to say, speak, Lord, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. That may be at the very heart of worship. Let's pray together. Uh, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. We pray, lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. Father, one way you'll lead us and one way that you deliver us is when we can hear your word with clarity and in our worship respond in obedience. Father, we love you and thank you for speaking your living word, Jesus Christ, to us. And it's his name we pray. Amen. Hey, thanks for checking in on a Thursday afternoon.